Pal World is a video game that literally has taken the internet by storm. It is basically a Pokemon bootleg and absolutely just went on crack and just went crazy mode. This is what this game is. And not only did it catch the attention of the internet, it also caught the attention of Nintendo and the Pokemon company. Now, before we get into that, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this. There, the lights are on. I know you guys were probably like, what the heck is going on with the lights? But I turned them back on, okay? Stop it. Get some help. Right, guys, so you guys obviously know I am a huge fan when it comes to Pokemon games. So this one naturally caught my attention. And it instantly went away, basically. What? Because, you know, this is an oversimplification of this game. But this game is basically like Pokemon Arceus meets Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, and Breath of the Wild all spun up into one game. I mean, you have crafting, you have sh looting, you have shooting, uh, and then you have the Pokemon battles, obviously. And then, you know, you got the lush green, which is what, you know, everyone refers to as Breath of the Wild-esque games. You know, the lush green pastures, the blue skies, all of those good things. And so, you know, basically that's all what it boils up into. And yeah, this game is kind of crazy. Like it blew up, it got like millions of sales. It sold like millions of copies within the first week or two, which is just like bonkers to think. But yeah, with all of this attention that this game has gotten, you know, it's, it's obviously made Nintendo kind of, you know, scratch their heads and say, hmm, this looks a little too similar to our stuff. It's impossible. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. So yeah, that's kind of weird. And you know, they actually went out and basically made a press release. And you know, I'm gonna read it to you guys right now. And this is labeled inquiries regarding other companies games. We have received many inquiries re regarding another company's game release in January 2024, which we obviously know who we're talking about here. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon in an intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. The Pokemon Company. That's what they had to say. So, you know, I'm not a lawyer or anything like that, but this sounds like lawyer speak for saying, we're gonna be looking at every single one of your creatures that you created for this game, and we're gonna be seeing if there's too many similarities and if we can sue the heck out of you. <laughs> Pretty much, right? And you know, now that I'm making this video, I actually, well, before I thought of making this video, I was actually just gonna buy the game. So, you know, I started looking up YouTube reviews and stuff like that. And then, you know, also I talked to my brother cause he's been playing it too. And you know, I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna hold my $20 because it really just isn't like, it's not my cup of tea. It's not the type of Pokemon game that I want. There is a huge sector of Pokemon fans that have been desperate and just dying for Pokemon to finally make the plunge into the open world aspect, the open world style of video games. And I absolutely hate that. You what? There's a lot of games that have been very successful. You know, we obviously mentioned Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Those are probably like the upper echelon of like making a transition from, you know, old school, the way that game was to, you know, making it open world. But that's not the case for every single game. You know, we got a, we had a taste of it. The closest thing to that was basically Pokemon Arceus, which was a good game. It wasn't a bad game. But I just don't feel like it needs to be an open world. For one, open world games tend to have really boring missions 
like go fetch this go kill that guy it's the same thing rinse and repeats and i know you might make the argument and say pokemon is basically the same thing because they give you the same thing to do every game it's you know collect eight badges and all that but you know it's the story and the characters and how they're portrayed that draws us draws us in when it comes to that so i say this to say no i am passing on pokemon with guns i don't think i want to play that game and based off of what i've seen i mean it looks interesting it's definitely for people there's a lot of people that are gonna enjoy this game while it lasts and you know it's it's just not me it's just not me but what i will say about this is that a lot of those characters do, do look pretty similar i'm not gonna lie so I think Pokemon or the Pokemon company might have a case when it comes to this thing. I know it's kind of crazy to think, but that that is just absolutely insane. But, you know, I will say this about the Pokemon company. They are diehard fans and they absolutely want what they absolutely want. And, you know, I mean, I'm just going to say it. Nintendo, Pokemon company, if you don't get your act together, then somebody else is going to do it. This is what's going on right now. Pal World is developers that decided, you know what? Nintendo is not going to do it. The Pokemon company is not going to give us that Pokemon game of our dreams. So we're just going to do it ourselves. And that's literally what's been going on. And that's literally what happened. And look at how much it sold. Look at how much it sold. All those developers did which is, was just basically put into this game what most of that sector of Pokemon fans want and it absolutely blew up. I mean it is just crazy. Now I will say this for my, you know, for my perspective since I'm not into that type of game, I mean I'm waiting for somebody to do the same thing but as a sprite based game and I'm going to go absolutely bonkers. And yes, I do know, before you, you know, blow me up in the comments section, I do understand that there is a lot of, like, fan-made games and mods and stuff like that. You know, Pokemon Prism, all of those type of games. But, you know, those aren't full-fledged games in the sense that they're basically a ROM hack for, like, Crystal version or whatever version they're using. And they've just modded it and made a whole new region and, you know, something like that. What I mean is I want them to make a full-fledged brand spanking new from the ground up game that is similar to Pokemon, sprite based, and just dives a little bit deeper when it comes to all of that. You know, all the things that we love about those old school Pokemon games. I think that would be amazing. And I would a thousand percent be in that. I mean, I'd be in the Kickstarter, honestly. Yeah, it is definitely a crazy time that we are living in. I mean, it is just January 2024. Uh, my videos are doing insane. The channel is kind of blowing up right now, which is like, what? Huh? That's crazy. And then on top of that, you know, we just hit 2000. Woo, we did it. We did it. And it took two years, but it's going to take one year to hit 3000. So we're doing it. We are doing it this year. I am telling you guys. And I didn't forget, I know I say that to the end because I want you guys to watch the whole video, but we are giving away the $20 gift card of your choosing of whatever platform you want it to be. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel. You have to like the video and you have to share it and then you have to comment too. And you can comment anything. Comment about the topic at hand comment what gift card you want comments anything but the comments is how we're actually going to pick the winner so i'm going to be taking like your usernames in the comment section and i'm going to be putting it in one of those you know randomizer thingies and i am going to pick one of you guys and then you know we'll do the our thing from there all right guys i hope you guys like this video and as always guys don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this now i'm gonna get out of here because um i gotta go unbox this guy all right peace yes i'm unboxing a 3ds in 2024